Good morning. Good morning. My name is Christopher. I am the invigilator here for the OET speaking test February 18, 2020. May I know your full name, please? My name is Marinda Robinson. Can I have your passport, please? Yeah, sure. Can I have your candidate number, please? My candidate number is 408921. All right, great. Now, we shall start the warm-up session. What kind of profession are you dealing with? I'm a nurse by profession, and I deal with different kind of people every day. Do you like your profession? Yes, I do love my profession. Since my childhood, it was my passion to become a nurse. I always love to care for others who are in need. Explain about a course that you have attended recently. I attended the BCLS and a CLS program conducted by American Heart Association during the last month as a part of my clinical education. What is the best part of your profession? The best part of the medical profession is its new innovations, and also, there is no cliché in this field. Every day, the professional is exposed to a new atmosphere, which allows them to gain a wide range of experience. What is the importance of communication in your profession? Effective communication plays an instrumental role throughout a patient's entire health care experience, and a large portion of the responsibility falls on nurses. Responsible for relaying information to a number of individuals, nurses must be able to communicate clearly, especially during periods of intense stress. Good written and verbal communication in nursing is invaluable to all involved. Talk about your favorite subject during academic time. For me, my favorite subject was psychology, as it was completely dealing with the human mind and emotions. I love to know about the emotional behavior of mankind and tackle the psychological trouble of people. Okay, so that's the end of the warm-up session. We shall move on to the task question. I can help you out with the task card. You have three minutes to prepare, and further you can start on. So, the preparation time is up now you can start role play. Okay. Hello, my name is Monica, and I am the attending nurse on duty today. I see that you rang the nurse call button. How may I address you? You can call me, Aston. Aston, I can see that you seem angry. Would you please tell me what's troubling you? Finally, someone is asking. I rang the buzzer 30 minutes ago. Where were you? I am sorry that you had to wait for so long. I had to attend to a critical patient urgently. How are you feeling? I am in a lot of pain, and I think no one seems to care. This is a ridiculous hospital. I can sense that you are quite upset. Could you please elaborate on what happened? Well, not just upset. I am distraught and angry and in a lot of pain. This is horrible. No one has ever treated me like this. I am so sorry to hear that. I apologize for the rough experience that you have had. Please let me know how I can assist you. Your sorry isn't good enough. I am going to file a complaint against you and everyone here. I can see you are incredibly upset, Aston. It's important that we understand each other completely. Would you mind telling me what's bothering you? You are all useless. I rang the buzzer 30 minutes ago, and I have been waiting for someone to give me medicine and help me with my pain. But no one cares in this hospital. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. It helped me to understand the situation much better. I can now understand how frustrating it must have been to wait while you were in pain. I am sorry for this. I will ensure that it does not get repeated. Please let me know how I can assist you. Yes. I need to get some tablets now. This pain is killing me. Certainly, but before that, would you mind telling me how severe the pain is, on a scale of 0 to 10, where 0 is no pain, and 10 being the worst you have ever experienced? It's more than 10. I am sorry that your pain level is so high. Did the pain medication 
We gave you earlier help at all in alleviating the pain. No, it's really not helping. I think that I need something stronger. Yeah. So, now I am going to call the doctor and let him know that the pain medication you are on is not helping to control your pain and you are in a lot of pain right now. I need to ask him if we can give you something stronger if he's comfortable with that. Does that sound good? What? Now again I have to wait another hour for the doctor's order. It's really disgusting. Just get me a strong painkiller. It's all I am asking. I know it's very difficult to cope with the pain. However, I am only allowed to give medication as prescribed by the physician. It's beyond my scope to change the medication without doctor's order. Your safety is my priority, and it's crucial that the doctor agrees to switch your medication. That being said, I will ensure that you do not have to wait long. Is that all right? Hmm. In that case, where is the doctor? Shouldn't he be here for this? I would like to see him. I understand your concern. It's early morning, so he is probably on a round and should be coming to see you soon. But, I am in pain and I need the doctor right now. What could be more important to him than this? I know that it's distressing to be in this situation. Here's what I recommend. Let's call him first and form a plan of action to manage your pain. I will also ask him to visit you as early as possible. Would that be okay? Yes, I would like something to help with this pain. My wife just left, and I am alone. On top of that, this pain is making me so uncomfortable. I need to feel better. Oh yes. I can understand. That does make sense. I can see why you have been upset. It's hard enough to be in the hospital, let alone, with other stuff going on. Yes. And I don't know how long I would have to stay here. Besides managing your pain, is there anything else too that I can assist with? I want to ensure that you are properly looked after. Yes, I don't like hospital food at all. Thanks for sharing this with me. Regarding the food, I can request the hospital dietitian to visit you shortly to discuss your food preferences. After which, she can customize your diet plan to meet your needs. How do you feel about my plan? Yes, that's fine. Okay, here's what I am going to do next. I am going to call the doctor regarding your medication, and following that, since you do not have any family here, I will check on you at least once in every hour to ensure that you have everything you need. I will also notify the dietitian to visit you soon. Does that sound okay? Yes, that sounds like a good plan. Okay, I will be back soon with your medication. All right, thank you, nurse. You're welcome. And please feel free to ring the call bell whenever you need help. Oh. Yes, thank you for the concern. So this is the end of your OET speaking session? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please, like this video and encourage us. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.